The first documented serial killer in Spain was a lovely gentleman named Manuel Blanco Romasanta. A great name that rolls off the tongue. Unfortunately for his victims, Manuel had some horrible nicknames as well. The werewolf of Alaris was one, or less commonly as, the Tallow Man, because he liked to fatten up his victims as they then made the best kind of soap. If there is a list of something, that means there must be a number one. The werewolf of Alaris, or the Tallow Man were the nicknames for Spain's first serial killer, a tailor named Manuel Blanco Roma Santa. He was born on 18th of November, 1809, in Reguero, Spain. It is believed that, he had a wealthy family due to his ability to read and write. Originally, he was thought to be female and was named, Manuela. He was raised as a girl till the age of six, when a doctor reassigned his sex. At the age of eight the family legally changed his name. He stopped growing as an early teen, and was quite short. He became a tailor and married, settling into a normal life. But then his wife died, and for reasons unknown, he decided to take on the life as a traveling salesman. He traveled all over the Spanish and Portuguese towns and cities selling his wares. In 1844 he was charged with the murder of a constable of Leon named Vincente Fernandez. The constable was seeking for Manuel to collect a debt. Manuel did not appear at his trial, he had managed to get his hands on a fake passport and fled, so he was found guilty of the murder in his absence, and sentenced to ten years. He hid in plain sight in the small village of Ribordacho, and became quite friendly with the women of the village a little too friendly. Over the years, several women and children who had hired him disappeared. These disappearances took a while to be noticed, because Manuel would make up correspondence between the missing people and their families, advising that they had moved, and were settling into the destination. Eventually rumors around the village spread that Manuel was in fact, killing the missing people, and making soap with their human fat. A rumor which was quite accurate. A charge was laid against him in the city of Escalona. He was arrested and brought to trial for the murder of nine people. Manuel made the extraordinary claim during his trial that he was infected with a disease of mythical werewolves. Even more extraordinary, the case was taken seriously. He admitted to 13 murders, stating that a curse had been laid against him and he killed them after he had transformed into a wolf. In his words, he stated, The first time I transformed, was in the mountains. I came across two, ferocious looking wolves. I suddenly fell to the floor, and rolled over three times, and a few seconds later I myself was a wolf. They too were cursed. We attacked and ate a number of people because we were hungry. The prosecution asked Manuel to prove his words by turning into a wolf during the trial. He said that the curse was for 13 years, and the 13 years was up the previous week. He was acquitted of four of the murders of which he was accused, and to which he confessed. Forensic evidence found that these victims, in fact died in real wolf attacks, something rare in itself. He was found guilty of the other nine charges, and was sentenced to death. But a French hypnotist known as Mr. Phillips wrote to the Minister of Justice, telling him that Manuel was suffering from a monomania known as lycanthropy, and that he was not responsible for his actions. He claimed to have successfully treated this condition in the past, and asked that the execution be delayed so he could study Manuel. This led the Minister for Justice to write to Queen Isabella, asking that the execution be delayed and the Queen commuting the death sentence to life imprisonment instead. On the 13th of May 1854, Manuel was transferred to a prison in Solanova, where he died only a few months later from illness, possibly stomach cancer and unfortunately Mr. Phillips never had the chance to study his rare condition, 